Continuing on from this idea about enterprise architecture in miniature, about looking at the really small scale, the enterprise for a one person organisation, looking at this idea of van life, about travelling around in a vehicle and building a vehicle and a business model that will work around that idea, around teaching. So first part of this is a kind of iterative design process. Things are going to change. We know they're going to change. So there are lots and lots and lots of little ideas, some of them coming up as insights from unexpected directions. All of them we want to capture, working iteratively towards a viable work idea. So a notebook becomes really important. Also this whole idea of context, scope, plan, action, review. We identify something within the, within the overall scope, the overall context, work on a piece of scope, selecting an area to work on, do a brief plan about idea about what we're going to look at, do the looking at it, do a review which itself produces new ideas. But we also start from the story. The enterprise is what gives us the story and the values and success criteria that we need to make this all work. So what does success look like? Well success is when people are satisfied, when I'm satisfied that I'm enjoying the work that I do. Everything affects also affects everything else. There are scopes of function. We've got power, heat, light, airflow, water, communications, access, storage. All of these are happening in the same very small space. We're looking at all the different scopes of use. Work, rest, play, move, move having the vehicle to move itself. We're looking at value themes such as privacy, security, environment, financials. Is it financially viable? Can I maintain it? Is it reliable? Is What about the hygiene issues, about keeping clean, keeping comfortable, keeping healthy? About adaptation and reuse? About using it as a live demonstrator of everything that I'm doing so that the enterprise is reflecting back on itself to demonstrate the principles by which it was designed and the principles by which it's used. And we're also designing to all of the constraints, which themselves also interact in very complex, interweaving ways. So every choice, every, everything involves a trade-off. When we're looking at a scope of function, another scope is affected, another scope is affected. Trying to push more space there loses space here when everything's tightly controlled by constraints. So these were the first steps about an architecture of a one-person organisation building to us towards a story.